Hey guys, welcome to chat with your girl KST. It's your girl K. And today we're going to be talking Young Thug and YSL. Yes, we're going to be talking Young Thug and YSL and the ghetto ness that has been going on in the courtroom. What is going on in that courtroom? I need to understand it because I'm like every day we wake up and we go to social media and there is some next ghetto ness going on in the courtroom. And when I say ghetto ness, I'm not talking about oh my god because it's a black case or because it has it involved black people. Why is ghetto? No, his white attorney was literally caught with prescription drugs. So I'm just talking about the case in general, just being ghetto, ghetto fabulous. But before we jump into it, let's talk about what is going on with the case. So basically, Young Thug along with YSL is being charged with or are on the docket for murder, gang related issues and racketeering. Those are just a few of the charges that Rolling Stone reported along with I'm pretty sure many other things, right? So, let's jump into it. What has what is the ghettoness that have been happening with this trial? First and foremost, everybody is just throwing young thug under the bus they're throwing young thug under the bus they're snitching they're saying look bennett was never in it um they're they're, they're just like they're, they don't want to be a part of it they don't want to be associated with it and people have been snitching 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 to get their their themselves out right okay fine but since the trial started it's been like a shit show where the attorney his one of his attorney told a judge that he was capping it was cap excuse me you're in the court of law who tells the judge that it's cap excuse me isn't there a way in which you can articulate it there's a time and a place for you to speak however you want to speak and this attorney was a black attorney so you know how to code switch you know how to turn it up and you know how to turn it down so why would you tell the judge that it was cap unless you were looking for a viral moment anyway let's move on to the next attorney who was the Caucasian guy. The Caucasian guy, he gets 20 days in, in jail because he brings prescription drugs to the courtroom. Sir, what do you need prescription drugs for? You're in the court all day. Take your pills in the morning. Take your pills at night. Why do you need prescription pills in the courtroom? Or at least that's just my opinion. Maybe he does need to take his medication or whatever um, while he's in the courtroom and stuff like that. But you, you need documentation for that. You need to get your doctors. You know what case you're working on. You need to get to get your doctors on board, signing this off by the judge and everything. This is what I need. And wouldn't you bring one single one or whatever you need just for that day? Not the whole bottle because you know the sensitivity of the case. Anyway, that's what happened with him. So that guy was arrested for bringing prescription drugs to the courtroom. Now, on Wednesday, what happens? The freaking YSL member, I'm, I was about to say gang member, no, the YSL member, one of the y, one of Young Thug's YSL, YSL members, sold weed to his draws. Like, he sold it, like, stitched it to his draws. And I'm just like, what is going on? And don't get me wrong, Young Thug people, they're complaining about the the serious securities that they're having to experience and being that, that is the first time they've had to experience such measures of security but you guys aren't giving the judge much of any options so it's like you're saying well why are they securing the courtroom so tight why are they securing us so tight as the attorneys attorneys we would normally have some kind of privilege to come and go as we please but we're not being we're not able to do it in this YSL case. Why is that? The reason is in the pudding. You got people bringing things in. There was even an incident where they exchanged contrabands in the courtroom. Like, what? That's why they're securing this place like nobody's business. And I don't wrong them. Secure it, secure it, secure it. And what I wanted to say, my commentary on this is that Young Thug like he needs to realize that the only thing he has left right now is the public's opinion yes he has his attorneys yes he has people in the courtroom that supports him loves him and wants to see the best for him but the public opinion is very very important why because we've seen where the public can advocate for someone so bad that something gets overturned the public can advocate for someone so bad that it shakes the courtroom right but if you are doing and partaking in these kind of things, young thug, when 
the public, when there's supposed to be outreach to the public and the public is supposed to say, okay, what is going to happen to young thug, guilty or not guilty with all these different things you have going on in the courtroom, they're going to say guilty, 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 guilty. But anyway, that's just my opinion on this. I want you guys to also just share your opinion on this. If you're listening to this on YouTube, um, do you think that Young Thug should definitely be more mindful of what's happening in and around him while he's in the courtroom and definitely pay attention more to his perception? At least that's what I think. And if you listen to this on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, hey, laters.